What's up, guys? Hop in. Going to play some Red Paint there with Callum Smith and friends. We get some uh, people on Discord. We're going to hop in. We uh, made a list together, and hopefully this goes well today. Uh, Chainsaw, that was Callum's idea, of course. And um, Ghost Vacuum, which, again, Callum's idea. <laughs> What's but up, the Callum? untimely moment is your idea. I, I just, I, I bent a little bit. You know what I mean? I said, why not? Uh, Pyrogoy from the sideboard, Nalrod. Uh, Nalrod, in case you can take it. Right. And of course, this ugly guy. What's this do again, Callum? I think Arena Glory has got to like a, to, to use your favorite words, a very high ceiling. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's underappreciated. We should be trying it more. It's but a good there guy. is a ton of the format, so. Yeah. All right, let's hop in real quick. So. The thing with Arena is like, you think of using it with Goblins, so that is the best use case usually. But what I found out when I was trying it, I would use it with a Fury quite often, and that swings games as well. So it's not just Goblins. Okay, this guy's usually got blue, uh, like eight cast. Like, um, he was pairing, playing Paradoxal Outcome for a bit. Okay, I can't see the username. What is it? What is that? I can't see the username. What is it? Oh, uh, Langlois. Ah, uh, yeah. It is blue stuff usually. But he is showing Yori on, so. Mm -hmm. Keep this hand. Yeah, this is nice. This is a classic, like, mounted in to see what they do turn two. Or see what they do turn two. Yeah, do, do you like this hand? What's that, Cal? Do you like this hand? I do. I think it's good. Yeah. I think it's a good hand. Um, I'm just trying if to get audio. Like Last or a bolt, something could be a lot better, but it's pretty close. Sure. Uh oh, DMT. I find DMT really hard these days. Uh, mountain, or what are you doing? Mountain here, right? Yeah. Mountain go. We'd love to bolt the mum, but it's not worth a fury. Any feeling south or mountain next time? Um, Depends what they do, I guess. Yeah. You know, they have a lot of like land destruction, which is tough too. So I think a mountain is the best bet, I'd say. Probably, uh, yeah. And they could always go. But this this stops them from putting in like a uh, the cauldron here, right? Which, which they did get. Mm -hmm. This feels like these engineers are getting. I was going to say bridge and drew half the combo. All right, yeah. this turn is important. So you want to go mountain here? I think I want to go Saga. Yeah. And I think I want to go engineer the painter. It's yeah. not as threatening. They're probably going to then let the uh, engineer live, and then we can go grindstone, play second painter, and get bridge or something. Hoping. Not that Bridge is very good against the team, really. It will just buy time because they'll have ways to destroy it. It's going to keep question, blah, blah, blah. But... And if they don't answer, to, we also have half the other thing we're up So this just sets it up for two different plans. So it's pretty good they didn't have a wasteland here. Put it on Solitude. Yeah, it could be. They could have a Megas of the Moon. Okay. So they're probably just getting Calder down now and get the foot going. Oh. You could block here, right? I could have, I could have blocked that. Nice to, yeah. I'm, like, trigger, I'm trying to see what he's trying to do here. Oh, they could have had a Bird Master. No. Excuse me? Good nibble. It could have had a bow muscle. Yeah. Good enough block. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So bow master swords, or you can put, you can't put in the creature and stuff. So that's pretty clear. Um, you know, we can always weld in grindstone for, we can always weld this in for a painter, but we have no double red. So this is the stick of second thing for this. I think they didn't put in the culture because they're leaving up source brushes. Correct. So what's our best line against that? Uh, 
I think I want to play the mountain. Play the mountain. Save the city for turn because I think this game is going to go on for a few more turns, yeah. and we we'll use the city's mana. Yeah. It's what we do with it. So we'll make a creature here, or no? We, yeah, I mean, no, I would just play Prince. So, yeah. Off the saga, off the saga. Oh my, my fault. Because now we can't get the I've lost it. Right. <laughs> well, after that mistake, I would have actually just taken the house as well as a thing sacrifice, but that's right. I'm surprised they didn't swords yet or something. Oh, I can't. So I can weld and paint it here and stuff, then he can swords it. It's a tough beat. Mm, the Emperor's going to target the painter when they go to combat, so you're going to need to engineer it and then, then they might swords it. So, so let's see if they do it. So at the beginning of combat, right? So I yeah, they'll tell it. You can really go there. But I think we're getting punished quite hard for tapping the mountain if they swords the painter. I think we get the win next turn, though, if he doesn't have salt. I can get Vexing Bobble and then cast Painter and win, right? Or... Well, you need to get the Painter in now and then that's the yeah. solitude. Yeah. Yeah. Total punish. F6, though? Well, I think they're just dead anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah, get Vexing Bobble. I have to get grindstone here. Right Sorry, now. grindstone. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Doop. Sorry, Cal. I'm in like ten different places. Play city, right? Yep. Because uh, then, if they have two pieces of direction, which they surely don't, then you can at least blast and then weld out the painter to save it. Yeah. I'll bring a pithy needle here. Um, bring in more furies. Pyroglyph, baby. Pyroglyph too, okay. Oh yeah. Oh any any um any target, right? Yeah. Cut hers, I... we'll cut vacuum, we'll cut. I actually like the vacuum. You like what? I like the vacuum. Okay. It stops Emperor Burns, but also the games can be very long, so you still have solitude. Yeah. I'm still getting like a little reverb when you talk, like when you speak, it's not like really crisp sometimes, but I don't know how to fix that. I am too. That's all right. Um so uh, we have two cuts here, Callum. A couple red blasts, you think? Or... I would cut as many blasts as possible, yeah. Um, and we have an untimely malfunction we could do for an artifact here, or... I'd bring in the malfunction. Okay. Cut more blasts. Uh, both of them, Callum, untimely? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. And one blast. And what else do I see that's not good? That's it, really, right? I know Vexing Bobble stops our uh, Furies, but we'll try that anyway. Is that the ghost vacuum in the sideboard? Did I cut it? Oh, it is. I'm sorry, Cal. I thought I cut uh, you it. Can, you can still change it. Huh? You can still change it. How? For the soul events, I think. I'm already submitted. It sucks. Yeah, you can just bring it back in and submit again. I'm sorry, what? You can just bring it back in and submit again. Can I? Oh, yeah. you could do that? <laughs> Word? <Where? laughs> yeah. Oh, I have 61 cards now. Fuck them. Okay, so no, no, you need to submit again, so it, it won't have in. But once you press submit, as soon as the, your opponent submits, then you go. Right. Uh, Play Magic just... Online for enough times, so I should know. I always yeah. thought you couldn't do that. Is that a new thing? No. I thought you could always, uh, I never thought you could do what that. What a hand. We'll try this. I'm going to try another way to get this reverb away. Um... I kind of want to get rid of grindstone here in a lot of ways for some reason, but or just the second engineer probably, right? Yeah, I think second. Okay. All right, perfect. Tomb would be fine here too. That's good too. I'm gonna needle this, right, Cal? Yeah, seems good. The way games often go is like it gets welded out later and stuff. Yeah, 
could needle that too. Well, let's go with engineer because I, I can needle that at some point. Um, well, I bolt that, right? I'm just yeah. talking out loud. Yep, I like bolting and it. Like do you redstone. hold the grindstone or do you play it here, Cal? I'd play it because yeah. I know they have removal, but they want to remove the needle anyway. And it's looking like next turn is probably just a play engineer, get dragon engine. That's what they do. And if it's that line, it's probably not playing city as well. I think our best draw would be like a saga. That's pretty good here. It's now we so can't just get dragon engine. It is the saga. Play this. Yeah, I'll just play it and I wouldn't play the engineer. Okay, past turn here, right? Yeah. Because I think we're going to be killing this Emperor with the Fury, the hard cast. And so we won't play the engine after that, is my feeling. Yeah. Like, we might even be the Fury next turn. It might even just be a make construct. Quite likely, really. And like usually here, I'd just be activating grinds for myself because of the emperor. I wouldn't. It's be a nice fury, huh? Ah, oh, it's a beautiful fury. Mm -hmm. They forgot about fury, Cal. <laughs> <laughs> now he's got four cards we don't know about. Mm -hmm. I got. I got to pay attention here because I can easily not. Play correctly here. No, nah, just slam this fury. And next turn we've got a like make construct, play engineer. Usually would be going to get the dragon engine, but we drew it, so we can go and get a paint. And probably get a vexing wobble off it. And he only has two mana now, which is really nice. Yeah. And he just Not being asked, he's being big. Swords it. That's really good here. We can um so make it a construct here, Callum, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I'll make a construct, I'll get a bubble, and then actually hold on. A Do we want to get because uh, like... we don't really want to play the engineer in the for now? Yeah. Like we could get a little spell and just play the Fire Exit Dragon Engine and go aggro. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Good enough. Just get the double strikers down. And I think they would have used a Scorch yeah. there if they had it. So. <laughs> the bridge is looking well. Our last few draws have been weird. Not great. I mean, the dragon engine is fine, but the bridge is not good there. Yeah. I actually usually side out against DNT. I forgot about it. What was that, Cal? I usually side out bridge against DNT. Yeah. They just it's have not so many. No. Could have a Loran here, maybe? I think his best bet is hit the eighth of vial, right? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about this guy. Me too. And you get a token, too. That saves your ass. Damn. Okay, now they can make a Fury as well. This game went really bad really fast. Hey, <laughs> Stop by attacking them. Yeah, but we're a matter of. Yeah, stop by attacking. Them. That battle at Bywater is really good. Should I play? 
Should I just play a bridge here? Or no? I probably should, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, their cards have lined up very well. They might just tap out. Yeah, we've got the read that they didn't have the Fury. Kind of. Like, maybe they do. They had the Battle of My Waters and they wouldn't need the Fury. They wouldn't need Solitude the Fury anyway. Are you still serious? Are me quite far? Um, yeah, the audio is like fucking terrible. But yeah. Let so we need to fix this by I need to find out a way to have us have a personal call and I can meet the stream. Mm. So are you gonna call me? Yeah. Okay. Find like an app to call. When you go on Discord, do you yeah. go into the, like via a browser or the, the app? The app. Okay. Let me can you open Discord in the browser? I think you can call on a separate call one in the app on the browser. Okay. So, so go on like Safari type thing here? Yeah. Okay. Go in there and try and call. It might ruin the stream. It might work. Discord? Yep. And then log in or something? Or... It's going to bring me yeah, right to the app, need... I think. You'll need to log in. Uh... So you might want to hide it from the stream today yeah. <laughs> i don't care about my email okay i'm gonna hack you robert yeah get it you guys can email me if you want <laughs> hey baby i want to schedule like a daily email of like a picture of bomb bombardiers just to wake you up in the morning <laughs> uh what's my password to this Bombers um, one two three. I know where it is. Can you see it? No, you can't. No. Oh, second. That's bringing me right to the app. It looks like. Oh really? Yeah. I think usually open both. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to think what that could be. Um, I go on Facebook. Yeah, I don't go on much, but I can call you on that. I don't. I don't like. I haven't been on in years. Okay, fine. Um, I'm trying to think what else we'll we have to do. Here. With this. You need Discord on your phone. Yeah, I could try that. Yeah, try and call me on your phone. That's a good draw here, right? No. Uh call you on Discord. Okay, so I'm on Discord. Um, go on messages, go to you. Mm -hmm. Call you right now. I'm calling you. you okay. Yeah. Sounds better. Are you there? Yep, I can hear you. Can oh, you hear me? So much better right now. There okay. you go. Perfect. Uh, let's see if I can get back to watching the stream. We did it. Can you hear me? Yep. Yep. I can I hear can... you. All right. So now I get reverb on you now. Uh, now better? Much better. Yay. Okay. So I stopped by attacking him, correct? Yep. So it was good. Thank God you're back, Callum. I was fucking irking me. Uh, I don't know. I can still hear myself a bit, so yeah. it's not perfect. But was I not better. supposed to attack there? I think I wasn't. That's okay. See what he does. This is kind of doing now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know either. <laughs> What's he? It's got? fine if they have a if they have a removal spell. Oh, if he puts bridge, a fury in board. Direction. What's he doing? I don't even know what he does. Oh, it's a four four. Can you malfunction the fury to him? What does malfunction do? Is this going to make the Fury go at his Emperor? If it has only one target, then yes. Oh, he gets a Stoneforge. Okay, All he's right. got haste. I don't use this yet, do I? No. 
You know, if we had a bolt, we could make the two creatures unable to block and kill them. Oh shit! No, it's all your. Yeah, as haste. As haste. Okay. Uh, I think you need to let the culture come in and then use malfunction to make two creatures unable to block, and then play painter, second main. So, because so that gives us an out of them not having removal for the painter or a bolt or something to an extent. So use malfunction to make emperor and culture unable to block. Right. I think. Unless you disagree. No, I, I like that play. The classic folder. Your voice is still coming in and out, Callum. This is crazy. Uh, All right, so now I use this now. Can't sell it. He's gonna shoot himself. This kid's gonna shoot, shoot himself. Shoot himself. Uh, can you hear me now? Stop it. We're trying to get we're trying to get Callum online here. Okay, he'll get it. Is this better? Better? It's there's more reverb. No, on no. It. Hold on. Now? Better, Probably not. Yeah, it's better right there. It shouldn't be actually open as well. So I go to my turn and draw and draw a painter and draw a land. Yeah, true. I would have played painter. Yeah. Oh, I didn't play painter. That was my turn. I thought it was his turn. My fault. Ah, wait. Is, oh, is my voice better now? It sounds yeah. better for me. Definitely better right now. Yeah. Cool. I Brilliant. thought that was my turn. I'm like bugging out right now, but it's alright. It's okay. Ah. We're, we're down a game. It's okay. We'll draw a land. We'll draw a land. It'll be our way. He's got four cards now. I know. It's probably like zero soul splashes, zero soul juice. We could just draw a bolt as well. Exactly. And I would, like, there's I would, a I would have played paint there. I maybe not. We'll see. I like playing paint just because. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, because he can't attack. That was bad. Oh, he still can't yeah. attack. So it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So you fixed the audio a little bit. That was good. I don't know. I mean, it sounds better, but I've got much better. It's calling my phone now, but I think I can stop it. I'm going to try. Yeah, and you can still hear me fine now? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, cool. I don't know what I did. <laughs> this is All such right. great, like, tech. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't pretend to know what I'm doing. It's, it's actually my fault because I'm not, like, I don't have it all set up, but it's what it is, you know what I mean? All right, we, we got there. We're only one game into it, and we worked it out. You know. Callum, it's not like you work for, like, a music tech business or anything. Look, I don't know how it works, and I've always said that. It's not that I was part of the sales team for two years. <laughs> oh, God damn it. So, hold on. This, this emperor can only... What did they get? A solitude, I guess. Yeah. Uh, a so they're going to kill the bridge or the pithy needle. What I'd do is just play both engineers here and get two painters. Oh, right. like... Yeah, get two painters because they can exile one with the emperor. So we're threatening the combo. And then if we draw like a land or a soul, and especially we can play painter as well next turn. Did I have did I have Phyrexian Dragon Engine in my hand? I did, didn't I? I always right. have that card in my hand, Cal. Every single league. I know you do. It time. loves you. It loves you. <laughs> hey, Robert, come to me. You know it does five damage with the bombers. I know, Painter. Five damage, man. It's a lover axe. <laughs> it's noticeable how many times I have Phyrexian Dragon Engine in my hand. I draw that thing all the fucking time. Oh. Mm -hmm. The other, the other good thing about making them like exile painters and stuff here, if they do with the Emperor, is I think their plan was to play Loran, kill the bridge, and then exile yeah. it, so you can't... Well, there's, there's no goblins in play anyway, but now they kind of... If they want to get under the bridge, they're going to like Loran, kill it, and then eat it with the Emperor. And like that opens them up to the combo so much. Yeah. So, yeah, what they do here is interesting. It's going to... like What is in their hand is obviously going to determine how this game ends. I think with five cards and them being mana screwed earlier, like 
it's all action. We know one's a Loran. It's probably pretty good. We probably our position's okay. We're threatening a lot of things, but they might just have all the answers. Okay, so they're only getting for one. Interesting. We have two bolts already went through one of them, right? He could mm -hmm. sort he could sort something in response, gonna watch that too. Yeah. Yeah, what we do now, I'm trying to think of what we do next turn, but it completely depends what they do. This bridge is weirdly being very good now. <laughs> Like, as I said, I usually don't like it, but and I thought it was a really bad draw, but it's actually saving our butts. Oh, it's doing good. So we'll bring in Ghost Vacuum here. Yeah, for next game, I'll bring in Ghost Vacuum over the Soul Guy Lantern. I think Ghost Vacuum is not just a graveyard hate card. That's why it's good. It's like right. if you exile your own Furies or Pyrogo or whatever, like their creatures, and then late game, it's just this big thing you can do. Right. So I guess there's a lot as well. I, 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 I was just thinking graveyard stuff, and that's why I trimmed it fast. Um, but yeah, this card's yeah, it, better. It's, it's graveyard hate, but it's also like a, a late game thing for fair matchups. It's yeah. pretty good, I think. It's also going to like stop their Emperor Bones if yeah. we have it in play. This kid's in the tank, huh? Mm -hmm. I've played this guy many times. Like now, now... I was thinking somebody else. I like I like the way he plays. He's a good player. Mm -hmm. No, I recognize the name as well. Is it Langua? Yeah, maybe. When you said eight cost, it sounded very familiar. But Levator is a guy I'm thinking of. Someone different, but or Le Masters maybe. Yeah, I haven't seen him in ages. Mm -hmm. Solitude. Or oh, what's this? Phantom Blade. Phantom Blade. All the weird equipments. Okay. So they kill the goblin. Okay. Doesn't he just uh, lose here? Let's see, it's a solitude. He goes to two cards. Yeah, okay. so you... so Come on, give us a land. We kill him. Let's go land. We're going to draw one, Cal, and watch. This is why I really, like, I really like both engineers getting both painters here because it really made them like throw everything into the basket. It's not that fast. Uh, yeah. I'm going to play it. Yeah, absolutely. Play painter, keep. To keep the blast up for a removal spell. It's lucky. Real lucky. <laughs> Easy game. He still has um the Loran in hand, so Oh true. So I guess we just have to blast that now. And that's that. I hope there's no swords. That's so I feel like if they had swords, they could have played that last turn differently and played Loran and Swords. And like got some attacks in. I haven't really worked it out, but I feel like they don't have the swords. Just instinct and <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> well, these are good cards to have out. I mean, out anyway in a however many card deck. I mean, without swords, I mean Phantom Blade. This gets any kind of removal spell, any kind of like interactive card. This is your clock. This card's great on its own too. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so I'll power blast. Yeah, just hope the last two cards are crap. And this is where we find out if they have a, a swords, because they would absolutely swords the painter in response to that. So no swords. They could have a wasteland for the city. I reckon their two cards are like an Orcish Bowmasters and there. Yeah. He's like, how did I fucking lose this game this whole time? Like, I don't understand. This kid literally cast. <laughs> what, what do we cast? Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Untimely. He's like, this kid played untimely malfunction. So I couldn't. He did nothing as well. It pushed through four damage. <laughs> All right. Cool. Off. Easy. So we'll check the chainsaw. Oh, yeah. The chainsaw is going to do a little work for us. We have Arena of Glory. Ghost Vacuum, which I have yet to play with. It's the first Maiden Voyage for me. Right? Fury's on the menu. Right? Fury's good. I've, like I said, I've missed playing it. I know there's a non with Vaccine Bubble, and it, it does come up. It's it's a real non -bow. Yeah. But there's just been a lot of games 
playing without Fury in the deck where I've just realized like, shit, I don't even have Fury as an out. Like it's the best thing to get. It's so good with Fable, obviously. It's just, it's this huge tempo boost against some matchups. This is a lot of like Eldrazi and Moonstompy. You really, really need this kind of tempo swing, or, like a free spell. Yeah. So, and in those matchups, the bubble is not great anyway. So you kind of play it, cycle it if you draw it and you need, you need to stuff. Sometimes if you have a Fury in hand, I haven't played Bubble Turn 1 just to see what they're playing and stuff. So... I think that's rare because you probably want it against combo decks, but I don't know. You need to be a bit more aware of it, but I don't know, I've missed Fury, main. Like DMT being good is a big reason for that as well. Yeah. I and mean, that's why I like Bolt, though. I mean, yeah. Bolt is really good I, as well. I do like Bolt as well. I like three. Uh, is it the I Planeswalker? Mean, yeah. Are you an Urza or a Mishra guy? Uh, I'll say Mishra just because it's natural for me, I guess. So we have Arena okay. in hand. Yep. Keep, keep this a good hand, right, Cal? Uh, Arena wishes a mountain, but yeah. Of course. <laughs> of course. It would have been if, you know. Yeah, but yeah, it's no. better than Grey Furnace here. <laughs> I don't know. It is. <laughs> it is? Higher yeah. ups. We'll say higher ups, say. Upside, right? That's that's a High, higher ceiling level. Uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> uh oh. Who go and play a chalice? No, play right. a chalice. Oh, he's, he's afraid of bobble. He's a bobble boy. That's fair. Ooh, oh that. no! <laughs> All right. So what are you what are you doing, Cal? Can I, I this? would. Hmm. This could be storm. Uh. It could be. Could be. I know the player a bit. I think they are in the Discord as well. They're a I like artifacts person, usually. Yeah. So it could be like eight Artifacts classes. and shit. Artifacts and shit. I say we go. I would go arena spirit guide out the welder. I was thinking that, but then again, what's our turn two look like? Alternatively, it's just Painter. saga. Yeah. All right. So and welder's so strong in this matchup, so we'll play welder, correct? I think so. I wouldn't usually do this against like a random thing, but them the going artifacts. two pedals. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, it's going to kill um, Saga constructs and stuff. Mm. Now, like, Tomb would be an amazing draw. But any, we kind of want any land now. We just go like Painter on two. Passing on us. So this is really good. Yeah, this is just like make big constructs and probably try and not put any artifacts in the graveyard. That's good too. Uh, um, we'll play painter, just, though, correct? Yeah, I'll play a painter. And I'd probably play it on red with the intention of Fury pitching Bobble next turn. There we go. So that's one. I mean, it's, it's going to be out of Fury range, maybe. And now. Depends what they do. The, like. The weld is kind of really stopping them using the pedals because it'll eat a construct, but I don't know. I think there's a very fair chance that it, they're not both five fives in a turn or something. So you still want to name red? I think so. Cause it like if we if we name blue, we don't have a blast in our hand at the moment, which obviously if we draw a blast, then we could play the second one on blue. But right now our hand wants red because we might not want the bauble. We want to draw a land ideally. It depends what they do. Like we don't even know what deck they are still. It could easily be a mirror as well. So we, oh yeah, shit! It could be a mirror. Then we die. <laughs> right, so we'll, name, we'll name red here. Yeah. I wonder if we just killed ourselves. I completely forgot about the mirror. I don't think he is. No. No. Red. Yeah, red. Who plays two pedals in painted these days? Yeah, I think he's more like um could just be like I mean they don't play City though in eight cast, do they? Are they we'll see what he gets there. Uh, they do. Yeah, I didn't think of a mirror either, Cal. <laughs> it was so but... bad. <laughs> I think after two pedals. I know Painter absolutely can and does play two pedals. That's a good sign. Yeah. It is. They probably get 
Like it's just play land, crack petal, petal. <laughs> Activate grindstone. The welder is doing a ton, just like not letting them use the pedals at least. True. Yeah, I wonder what they get. Maybe you. Okay. Now they can use the pedals. But do they name they need to name grindstone, right? Because they just died to a they did name grindstone. Yeah. So their their mana is kind of stunted here a little bit. Yeah. The moment they sack a pedal, this welder goes ham. But okay, so it's forge, fine. Why are they short here? But I'm not gonna, right? Nah. All righty. Oh, terrible draw. <laughs> okay, I would just. I would just play second painter. We can name blue now, like, I guess. Uh, the intention is block with one of them and then weld them between each other. I guess you, you don't need to weld this turn, but block one and then next turn you can weld. And then next turn we're probably getting pedal off the saga, playing the fable. These constructs are big. Man, Untimely Malfunction would be so good here. <laughs> one, could block two of them. Most block one, right? Yeah, that might kill us next turn if they can make it an 8-8. This one's red. So, block the blue. Cut me off. It doesn't here. matter too much, because we can weld. Uh, I think I'd keep the blue one in play at this point. Because if we draw a Blast, it's pretty good. I hope they just don't play anything. They got like four mana. Yeah. What's in their hand? Oh, they could have like Codex Command. Get yeah. Yeah. The draws have not been great. Get a Lotus Petal here, I guess. Yeah. Lotus Petal. Play Fable. Hope they don't have a Codex Command. And then, yeah, we're going to like block with Painter. Weld the painters. Yep. <clears throat> and then, not really sure. <laughs> I hope draw we lands, I think hopefully we need, draw lands. We could find bridge. We need to find, yeah, I was thinking we need to find bridge or like engineer for bridge. But this is like a cousin's command. Well, good luck, guys. I look forward to watching back the YouTube video. Have fun. Oh, cool. So Later, just back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, Jasper. I mean, it's it's not. I would, yeah, just let it happen. We can discard Dragon Engine and the Hearse and draw into like Soul Land Bridge easily. Yeah, whatever. Well, actually, the block here. Block the block the block. arena. If we draw the arena, can get an a uh, engineer and give it haste for the bridge. So. We got a lot of outs actually. They probably make one of these unblockable. Yeah. yeah. Ringu, whatever. I guess we block one with. So they do. Yeah, I think I I would block with the painter. If they give us a choice. Sure. Okay. I'll block with the painter just because if we draw engineer both eight eights, and they're both 8-8 style. Oh, we have to block with both. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, then make one unblockable. Oh. They could have killed us by making one unblockable. But... Oh no, the, the pedal would then sac get sacrificed. Never mind. Yep, okay, we have to double block and we need to draw engineer plus like fast red mana or just the bridge. Oh no, engineer doesn't do it because of the soul guy lantern. We should just draw a bridge now. So 
So the timelines come in. I guess we'll bring in Needle, Null Rod. Uh, yep. This is the matchup for Null Rod. This is like yeah, just, here. Just those four cards, I think. Okay. Yeah, Null Rod, I know you like... Yeah, I know you like it genuinely, and I, th I think it's a really good cyborg card for us. People often think, yeah, it's a number with our combo, like we're an artifact deck, but I don't know, it stops so much more. Come on, Soul Land. Thing. No. Is that? It doesn't do shit. All right, again. Technically, we're alive because you just double Fury a construct, but now we're dead. <laughs> uh, so I would say. Great. Yeah, so bring in those four cards. Then, so Bolt's kind of weak here. I think they probably have Glaring Flesh Raker. Oh right, right, yep, you're right. So I would Chainsaw. keep it the Soul Guide. Chainsaw can go, yeah. I think I'd cut the Hearse and Ghost Vacuum. Soul Guide I'll keep because they could have an Emrakul. Okay, so we need one more cut. Um. Probably a Fury, to be honest. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't think they play Khan. I don't think so. If they had Khans, you want all the Furies, I think. But I think they just play like Mystic Forge, Paradox Engine, One Rings. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? The sand might be good enough, Cal. I was going to add yeah. mountains for, uh, and I bought them too for this. Day. Oh, yeah, uh, I forgot as well. Oh. I did. It. I'm going to play, I'm going to keep this or not? I like it. Absolutely. Nice. Easy keep. I can't believe I didn't put the mountains in here. I bought them before I even sat down. Just means we have to do this again sometime. Exactly. Sorry, Days. I bought the um, Mirage one still for him. That's so nice. Sad. It's going to kill me up and down. It's all right. I'd slam this Null Road turn one. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. You might be watching the stream on us, Cal. Might know my whole hand. <laughs> Maybe it's uh, this Adam Algert guy. That's, that's Urza the Planeswalker. <laughs> He's the true Urza. <laughs> but Mishra's cool than Urza, I think. You know the Phyrex and Dragon Engine melds with Mishra? Yeah. I tried to do that when, when the set first came out. I was in a league with like a black red like artifact aggro. No no painted combo. And I was about to finally meld it after like six or seven matches and my opponent scooped before I did it. So I've never done it. It's very sad. I need a mountain here, Cal. Pray. Pray for I mountains. See, I can see an Urza saga coming out right out. It's usually the way it is. Don't say it, don't say it. I can see a mountain coming. Oh no, what if a, um, it's an arena? <laughs> yeah. Yo, we got Nick in the chat. Whoop that Nick. Nicky. Nicky boy. What do you got for us, buddy? There is a. Get him. Yeah, let's go, Nick. We're, um, we're playing chainsaw. We're playing vacuums. Oh, that's a nice artifact. I'll play painter here, right? Yeah, just play painter and not city. Yeah. On blue, correct? Yep. The kid doesn't have Pyroblast in his deck off a Lotus Petal, will he? <laughs> you can't do off a Lotus Petal. Does he have a card? Look at them with Can one of you kind gentlemen link the list in the chat somewhere? Uh, Robert, can you pull it up? Serious? The list? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do lists here. We just um, do. Um, question mark? Oh, fuck. Is that Nick? Yeah. <laughs> you serious? Hold on. All right. I don't play the city. I pass here, correct? Yeah. We're still going to do arena, arena of Glory next turn. Oh, they got a Cossets. Come on. Yeah, they got a token here. It's pretty cool. That's all right. Doesn't look good for us, Cal. I don't know. Okay. Nullrod is so good against them. Of course, but is he gonna cause he call it, is he gonna hit my painter? Okay. Still doesn't matter really, right? I mean nope. tokens and shit. No, he doesn't, because they're all blue. Oh right, yeah, I know that. 
so good. <laughs> I, I've played enough of it, right? Yeah. Okay. I think we're fine. Like, yeah. paint. I mean, the the null rod just turns off so much of their deck. Nikki, we get two goblin welders. We have three, en four engineers. We have four engineer, chainsaw, ghost vacuum, and two furies. And two pyrogoyfs. And two pyrogoyfs. Oh, you motherfucker! Jesus Christ! Are, Are there goyfs in the main? No, it's no, it's I would. We're cowards. I mean, Bobble's two. body. Three them. Three. Three Beeblin. I if I'm dark if I'm dark it's because my girlfriend's working but all my love I'm I'm watching. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, See that they can't do anything. The null yeah. rods is canceling the shit. Mm -hmm. Painters is helping with time as well. Yeah, and that's a. They still have five cards. You should have oh, just no, numbers just... first. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Bad. Hmm. There goes all our blasts. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, they, they could have um, Calm Plus on the Null Rod and dismembered it. Yeah. That's our trick. It's the only trick. <laughs> Do the Bumble guys know about that trick? I don't know. Who knows? Do you play Khan and Bomber in the same deck? They try to, they try to fling this thing if they could. <laughs> you can. It you can lick the middle damage. Painting. Double direct damage. Of no, no. You, here's, here's the play. Here's the play. You have a Bomber in play, obviously. And then you Khan. You have a Liquid Metal Coating. You Liquid Metal Coating, target the Khan, make the Khan an artifact. And then you Khan plus in itself. So the Khan attacks of four. And then you can Bomber it for six damage. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. You can see right. Kellen. Yeah, this is a concede. This is a shame. The ham is really good. I'd keep it every single time. But it's like, oh, so we did so good. There was nah. a few things you could have done differently, but that's all right. I play the same way. I get excited. That's too bad. I think it was worth a keep there with the null rod. I would keep that again in a heartbeat. Yeah. Null rod is so good against them. It's just. Like, we're keeping hands that have a, a engineer to find the null rod. So if you have it in your opener for turn one, yeah. Nikki, do you see the list, Nick? Is he still here? No, he's, he's still here. Nikki? He's yeah, here. I'm here. My girlfriend's working, though. I told her I'd be on mute. Right. <laughs> what do you think of the list? Yeah, do you yeah. like it? It looks good. Um, the Discord settings, though, are, like, on the bottom, so the, the screen's, like, cropped. Yeah, I don't it's know fine. If you... It's all fucked up, I know. I, I think the thing is... Not to be ignorant, who's joining you? What do you mean? Who's this other gentleman under it's you? Callum. Oh right. shit, that's what you look. Yo, that's what me. up? What's up, buddy? Damn, you yeah. done, boys? Okay, We're here. Right, just, I uh, I'm still watching. That's cool, man. Good to you. I've been giving him a hard time because he's got this like the OBS showing, but also no tie and no days mountains. I know I fucked up today a little bit. It's all right. <laughs> pinky, pinky ring. Um. Part of the the ensemble. Nothing, we got nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Man, we're, we're playing. We're playing Fury though, Nick. I okay, should get you excited. I should get you excited. Oh, this is another oh, one. What? Deck. Same matchup again. Okay. Okay. I think we're dead again. Uh. Just mountain, I guess. You don't want to get a fast painter online here, like try to kill him. That's fair. Or um, we could prepare ourselves with a blast coming up here. No, you're pretty right, actually. Just like Saga, turn to painter. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. Yeah, yeah. But if something it's happens, hard. we can't kill like a Karn or something. Or like. If something happens, we can draw a fast mana and still kill them turn three. I see you want to play Saga? Yeah. No, I like it. Good shout. In my head, I was just thinking, like, oh, we have Bolt up for. A flesh raker, but yeah, that's what I was thinking too. You I think, could do I, that, think but... I think chances are they kill us uh turn three before we kill them, but no, I think Saga sets us up for like the highest chance of winning, highest ceiling, you know? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, Calum, I mean, really, you know what I'm talking about. You know, what I like about my new flat, it's got pretty high ceilings, right? So, All right, nice they've got. Sorry, gone. So it's nice where you are. You like it? 
Yeah, I love it. I'm so happy here. Good. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's okay, that's actually. We got lightning bolt. Yeah. That's why I play no rod in my deck, in my sideboard. I'm just telling you, it's like, this is like the second or third of toughest matchup for us, I believe. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's really bad. What do you All get? Right. Just tell me he gets a... Um, no rod. Sky Sovereign's flagship or whatever it is. I'm thinking we just... Lattice. Lattice. Okay. Oh, does he have the mana for it? Oh, he does not. No, this is great. We just do fury... Wait the... Do I wait for him to cast it, though, Callum? Unless he I mean, pluses let... first, I'm fucked. Let's see what we draw, but I want to go Mountain, Play Painter, and then Fury Pitch Blast. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, Fury, you're naming Red here? Actually, I'd Fury Pitch Engineer. Engineer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can, I, can I can we get this kid a cast lattice? But if he pluses first, we're screwed, right? All right, so I'm going to stop talking. Yeah. yeah. I think we want to use our mana to play a painter as well, so we can combo next turn. Cool. Yeah, so make him kill us now. Three cards unknown, I guess. Mm -hmm. Two cards. I don't unknown. mind spot. Comes out. Of, um, I think this arena of glory is going to screw us, but. Um, it comes in. We have a mountain, so that's excellent. Oh, you can draw mm -hmm. like this whole deck now, right? Yeah, that's also really awkward because we can't combo on their upkeep now unless we draw a fast mana source. Yeah. Man, I hate this ring card. <laughs> uh. I think it's okay. Like. If we don't draw a fast mana source to upkeep it, we can like play arena, get grindstone, have a pyroblast and a bolt up, and hope to draw a so mana source next turn. But they're doing things. Pazlux command here. Oh, is it Karn? Okay. What are you gonna do with that? He still has that lattice in his hand. Mm -hmm. All right. Kind of ballsy. Does he get a ballista and a bobble? Okay, you got three cards now. Two okay. would be ideal here. Um, so I think we just don't even bother floating. Just get a a grindstone, and now we blast the we bolt the Khan and blast the um, ballista. And then hopes to draw a mana source next turn. Sound good? Yeah. So get the grindstone. Mm -hmm. Play this untapped. Mm -hmm. Bolt. Him. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. And hopes to draw a mana source. And they're going to draw a fuckload of cards. So I think chances are we probably will like die to a Cosette's command because they can. Yeah. I don't know. If they draw lots of cards, they are they don't have that much mana. Cause like Ballista to kill the painter is gonna cost six mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they have a lot of mana. <laughs> but I don't know. There's a chance that, there's a small chance that they can't kill the painter with two th like with two things. It's quite surprising to see two of this deck in a row, but yeah, I was clearly pretty wrong about Khan. They do play Khan. We could have played Khan in this league and been fine. I told you Khan would be great. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I know Khan's good. Like I've played Khan a lot. So no, you... it's good to try these new cards out too, like Arena. I've never, I never play with Arena. Yeah. Chainsaw and what else? Yeah. 
I think Chainsaw's not great. It's just fine. It's it's fun to play with. It's fine, but yeah. It's not that good. Ghost Vacuum. So I counter this, right? Is this X equals three? three? Yeah. Yeah, I'd counter this. And then they have four mana to exile the painter with the Cosets command. But they don't have it. Okay. Oh, what the two. fuck? Cheeky bastard. <laughs> he didn't cast another ring yet, but there mm. is enough mana to make tokens here. I can get a bridge here, be fine, maybe. That's such a bad draw. Yeah. Get a bridge here. Yeah. Like, maybe they just died to the ring. You never know. Get a dragon engine. I'll do that next turn. Mm -hmm. They're artifacts at that, so. No, I like bridge here. Like, if they have closets, come on, we die anyway. He still has Lattice, too, in his hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they could just draw another con and Lattice as well. And that's that. This deck sucks. Yeah. Holy shit. So we, we played against the same deck last round as well, just before you joined. Oh, that wasn't just straight Eldrazi last round? They just nope. had Flush Striker for... Yeah, literally the same injury. deck. Wow. Two rounds in a row. I agree. I think top it is up. top three, like, worst matchup for us. All right. I'm going to concede. I'm not even going to play this game. Yeah, Just fine. because it's just too much. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, like it also takes them ages to do stuff. Do you like Blood Moon, Callum? Oh, you like Fury, I don't. Right? I like Fury, yeah. Uh, got I, hers. I don't Fury. like Blood Moon, I think. What's that, bro? I don't like her. I uh, don't like Blood Moon, I think. Yeah. Uh, you like Fury um, for uh, Karn and Case? We have both both the Fury here, so... Yeah, I'd bring in the third Fury. Uh, mm. Cut a Sydney Spirit Guide here or no? No, I think uh, we want all the Frost Mana. I'd cut the Bridge. Like, I know it stops Constructs, but it's just not a game. If they're making Constructs, it's not how we're winning games, I think. Well, the Chainsaw is fucking bad. Oh, yeah. Chainsaw sucks. Yeah. Uh, all right. Are... Yeah. Security? Tell one Null Rod again. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> but that was really good. Hand. We lost the last match because we didn't draw mountains. That's kind of a shame. Yeah, but we got it now. Are you being? Have you been punished by Arena so far in this league? Close, close. Yeah, one time. <laughs> <laughs> and it has it hasn't been used for haste yet. Damn. Yeah. I don't know. I I made Robert put them in and two one. Two copies just because I want to see it drawn more and played more. Like, I don't think two is probably right, but I think the card, to use everyone's favorite term, does have a very high ceiling. So I think in the right build it does for sure. But... Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't like more than one in in twenty one land builds. Yeah, I agree. It's like what? I wasn't expecting that. No, Rod. No, no, no is right. so good, dude. But I well, agree. if you're giving like it's an so engineer good. haste, right? Uh, mm -hmm. You need three mana to do everything, so like... you're tapping three, three lands you... anyway. I don't you're know. You're playing Saga here, Callum, or you're playing Painter, right? No, Fable, Fable, Fable. Well, he has a he has this out. Yeah. Does it matter? No. I think Fable's our best card. I would just play Fable. Like we're kind of looking for, we're looking for goblins as well because right, we want right. to weld out the Nullroot at some point. What can, what can punish us here? Like a thought not seer? Does that even matter? It doesn't uh, even matter. Yeah. Like they have to take the fury then. I could have gone Saga Painter there. It would have been okay too, but can they constructs at that point? But yeah, we'll I like this. Okay, so. I would just grab the needle and the mountain. Okay, stop, cool. I'll stop by attacking real quick. Yep. Feels like, I think the Eldrazi Temple is probably just because it's command. <laughs> Maybe Cyborg Thornus is. I don't really and know. And Fleshbreaker too, right? Sure, yeah, Fleshbreaker. Yeah, you're right. Painter. Playing Painter on blue. Yep, sounds good. Uh, 
Nice nail road, Ned. I know. <laughs> car is so clutch, though. You were on this I car know. for a bit, and I was fucking laughing about it. But um, yeah, no, I love it. This uh, this matchup is like the tough. I was like leaning on like uh, uh, mind break trap to like cheese to get me through a turn, but that was not just not good. No, I mean, no, my break trap would never be for this matchup, but if it's in your sideboard, I would bring it in because they can have these explosive turns. But yeah, no rod is great. I mean, I would just play Saga and Engineer for. We want to make a token, I think. Yeah, we can make a token and just play Engineer because then Engineer sets up a win next turn as well. Yeah. Well, this is on. Oh, there's no. Uh... I'll just get Dragon Engineer or what? What do you think? Yeah, I'm getting, seems I'm good. Because you can get Grindstone off the Saga next turn. Yeah. And you can, like, haste this thing out, too. He's going to concede here. That was that was lucky. All right. Um, so we've played this matchup for four games so far. Two cyborg games. We've had turn one Nalrod both times. The one of Nalrod. Right. That's okay. it, right? The deck, deck looks fine, right? Yeah. I don't think I'd change anything else. I think we need to get very lucky to win this matchup. I did like, bring a needle, correct? This hand yeah. sucks. What do you think of this hand, Callum? Yeah, it does kind of suck, doesn't it? <laughs> it does suck. I'm going to mull it. I mean, it's, Bolt hits the Flush Raker. This is kind of like hits Karn. Yeah. Um, two engineers. There's some hands to get into. I mean, you could hope they lean on a hand with zero drops. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're gonna unleash them right now. They, they know. I like. Them. I like this. We can convert this hand with a dragon engine. Yeah, I. I think. I think. Unless I you think, think you're gonna get a turn one no rod again, or a turn one <laughs> at that, you know. Yeah. I think this is a hand where it's like it's fine against flesh rake and con, and terrible against one ring. So it's like, yeah. Choose your battles. If they have a ring, hey. And there's fine. two of these. It's basically a mulligan anyway. Yeah. Well, I would keep. You're gonna keep it. Okay. I think so. Uh... Plus, we're on the draw. We could draw Null Rod, so. And cast it. And cast <laughs> or we could bargain into it. Yeah. Oh, this is really close. What What do you want to do? Like, what are your thoughts? I think it's worth it because we're on the draw. It's better. Um... I think it's much worse than the draw because we have interaction, but we're going to be interacting like the uh, on the draw. Bobble like, definitely like, looks a lot worse on the draw. Yeah, absolutely. They actually play. They don't play that many zeros. They have like mox opals and pedals, but a lot of their mana comes from the monoliths and the keys, I think. I actually need mull. It's close though. All right. I want to mull it. But it's close. I don't I don't blame anyone for keeping that hand. But you do what you want, Robert. <laughs> There's the null road. The monkey's paw curls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, well, yes. Yeah, go, go to five. Yep. Yep. That first hand is very interesting, though. But... All right. <laughs> um, we did it. Dude, what the hell is it? The luck sack. Oh, my God. And we'll give I one would. Each. One of these to you? Yeah. I would get rid of the. He's going to be able to cast Karn at some point. So... I'll get rid of the bolt. No, the untimely malfunction. That cuts Really? Sucks. Why do we need to kill artifacts if we have an run and play? True. <laughs> All right, done. Yeah. Yo, we got Daisy here. What's up, Daisy? Daisy. Hey, buddies. What's going on? How's it good? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Robert, I missed the mountains. Robert forgot to put your mountains in. Oh, is this oh, a car? Man. Oh, so wait. <laughs> You're just some I mean, basic planes then. So this is the second time we've played against Forge in a row, and all three cyber games, Robert's open with turn one null rod, and there's oh, one null rod in the deck. Oh, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> I mean, we should draw mountain. No, I gotta not draw arena. mountains. Not arena of glory, we need to draw mountain now. Days, I bought your mountains, I just I forgot to enter them. It's terrible, I'm sorry. Ah, no worries. No, nobody told me. I don't know. <laughs> I bought I bought ten of them. They were cheap though. Nice. <laughs> so it just means you have to just go again, right? Oh, oh the Lord. monkey paw. <laughs> that is so sad, of course. They're gonna make it a fair game, right? 
So they got six mana now. It's like a repeat of game two. Yeah, it is actually. It's exactly the same. That's they plus. Game, all right. No, they mind nope. the Fury, Fury of Dawn. Like yeah. Metal coating. Oh, that's, oh nice. that's bad. Oh, no, it's fine. You can Fury it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. I thought they plus. He that's, can't that's... activate it either. He can't even use yeah. it. <laughs> that's that's fine. Yeah, coating's so bad. Mm, interesting. Uh, that's why Fury this thing down, correct? Get rid of this fucking untimely malfunction. Actually, no, no, don't, don't, because we no, might no, want to kill no, the Mr. Don't. Forge. Oh, uh, whatever. What do you want? Everything's terrible. Engineer? Engineer or malfunction? I would get rid of the engineer because I prefer to malfunction the Mystic Forge because it draws them into more guns. Kids like fuck. How much? How much does this hurt, Robert? <laughs> Keeping the malfunction over the engineer. It's actually. <laughs> I don't know. What, what did we do this game already? Did we do something crazy? We multi five. We kept a turn one null rod and exactly like game the other game. We need to draw a mountain. Everybody. Mountain. Fuck. Yep. Should I play it? Yeah, I would. Because we've got like the bolt, uh, the pedal to discard anyway. Man, why can't you draw mountains, Robert? I don't know what happens like this. I probably have two more turns before I draw a mountain. I'll get, I can almost guarantee you. I'll probably it's draw. It's a ballista. ballista. Can't command, it, right? Probably because it's command. I can just attack. Yeah. Ooh. All what right. That, what does that do for him? Not much, right? It's just more mana. Scry's X. X equals six. That's a pretty good card. Mm hmm. Find I a card. You'd be all right. I bet you you put on your tie and you draw a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> no tie, no nice mountains. I really believe, I, I did think about putting a tie on. I'm like, I just, I don't know if today's the day to do it. I just, you know, there's a saga. See, I, I need to draw a mountain now. Yeah. This is typical. Yeah, oh, my God. Fuck. This happens. This is pretty typical. We're not even playing, like, less red sources, usually. I mean, I guess the pedal is one. But there's one pedal in the deck. I don't know. Uh, he's going to have a one, two, three, four, five, six. It can be big, big constructs. This is just MTGO being a dick. But it's also giving me a gift, so that's good. The shuffle is rigged. It happens. <laughs> What's your name? So, what, you, you, you're at 1 1 now, or what? Two, one? We're no, we're one one currently. Oh, we'll we beat D and T, lost to lost this deck just now, and we're gonna lose this deck again. Gotcha. I think we just did this game. Oh, here comes something big as well. Another command. Oh uh, yeah, and now it like pings us for tons. I would just concede, but <laughs> you can you can chill for a bit if you want. Take a draw step. Okay. Draw they need to make a there. like destroy all colorless permanents card. Oh my god, big sagas. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, rough. Uh, Wait, Bridge has bought you a turn? Oh my god. I think we sided out the bridge actually. Yeah, we I don't know. Like I would keep those hands like a turn one, the, the one of Nolarod, turn one into Fable if you draw a mountain. I would keep yeah. that every single time. Like we, meant, we, we were meant not to win that game or even have a chance. Yeah, but like th those three cards, Ancient Tomb, Null Rod, Fable, I would keep with anything else against in their matchup. Yeah. So, yeah, rough, but what you going to do? Another uh, Storm player. 
This is good enough. I'll keep it. I know we storm usually. Mm -hmm. What's the name? Ella One. Oh, they play all different stuff. I think it's been storm lately, actually. Okay, but they've played painter. I've played against them on like, especially mono white painter and white painter with dreadnought and stuff. Yeah, they play. They have. They played loads of stuff, but yeah. Let's try it out. With this kind of hand, do you lead on bobble or welder? Ah, uh, bobble. I'm gonna yeah. do that here anyway. Yeah, I agree. Just because I've seen him on Storm for a long time now, so. Would you Would you do this in the blind? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think that's a very real argument against welder. Like welder's yeah, hard to fit into the curve when you like have other one drops. Goblins? Like okay. Mm. Goblins. Uh, Get a painter out in the in the graveyard. I would just play another bauble and welder here. Let me go painter. You can kill the engineer, right? Mm -hmm. Could have gone to the Yeah, I, I would have played welder and the bauble here, personally. What are they doing? Mm. Okay. okay. So Bobble stops Fury here, which is really good. Um, but I need to draw lands here, correct? I could cycle as well. Mm -hmm. I'll play the other Bobble cycle. Yeah, sounds good. That's a good draw. That's very nice. I guess you just uh, play Welder and Bridge. It'll be like, like Scream it. Mint Scream it can't he can't cast Minsk and Boo here, right? No. So, unless yeah, pedals turned off. I would just I don't know what graveyard hate they have. I would, I would want to get the other welder out. They do play out. endurance. They do play endurance. I think, but the ball will stops that. Yeah. So I want to play the other welder in case they have like a removal spell for the engineer. Okay. And then I would just play welder and ensnaring bridge because okay, like we got the combo coming up, but they might have disruption for it. Like, I feel like I can't think of much that's going to stop our combo now. But they can play Endurance off the dun the Dungeoneer. It taps for two green. True. So be careful of that. But I forgot about that, yeah. But I like getting the bridge in play. It's If our, if our like combo plan doesn't work out here, it's going to save us a bunch. Oh no! <laughs> Best card! This card is broken! Shouldn't we play this card? I think so. You know what? It would have been insane that last turn. <laughs> we attack, sacrifice the Engineer, kill the Dungeoneer, take the Monarch. It would have been crazy the last turn. Oh, one spot top. Can't cast Endurance here, right? They can upkeep it on themselves if we combo. Caves of, Caves of Chaos Adventure. I can get if I draw, I can get a Soul Guide the turn, but all right. You can get Soul Guide if we drew a grindstone, but yeah. Let's bring in Fury here. We'll go Pyroglyph on the draw. Yeah, Pyroglyph seems good. I want to cut like the the hearse, the Soul Guide Lannan, and then as many blasts as possible. Chainsaw stays in. Yeah. Okay. Kills bombers. So we're down to 60 now. I would bring in the malfunctions as well. They could have like Null Rod or something like that. And also the make creatures not be blocked could just gas like the initiative or something. I think it's just better than blasts, I think. So we want these baubles, all these baubles too, Cal. I think it's better, worse than the draw, but no, I mean it's just better uh... than blast for painter or Bubble's I pretty think the malfunction can hit the initiative triggers too. Oh yeah, five life. Yeah. Back you trap five damage and the target for the one on counters. That's How many cuts five. do you need right now? I'm at sixty right now. Mm, I just don't know if you want to lean on bobble with if you're leaning on fury. You know, yeah. yeah. Especially on the 
I can bring in a now, red blast you... to pair a painter nicely. But you can decide on the bauble, right? But also you can decide to sacrifice it too. I'd I'd bring in one blast over one bauble, just like yeah. split it in the middle. Just because uh, red blast goes a fury too, right? Early. Mm -hmm. Let me try that. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's awkward and synergy here. I think the sideboard needs more like more cards to side out as many blasts as possible. That's what we're finding out with like a lot of matchups like this, Mono Red Stompy, Eldrazi, DNT. Yeah. You want to be cutting so many blasts. And so I think you should need a lot of fair cards in the sideboards, weirdly. Or they have uh, overlapping things. All right. This is this is the game where Malfunction shines, right? This is the one. Yeah, do a two for one on the Bombardier with Malfunction. <laughs> yeah. Bombardiers can bomb themselves. Oh shit. Mints can boo. Yeah, it's right. pretty good. So Joe's okay, that's, died. that's pretty fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you want to draw a pedal or a monkey. Mm. So I play. I have to play mountain, or I, I play mountain first here, right? I have to blast this, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And then I could like chump block with like an engineer the next turn. It's gonna trample though. Yeah, we need a Fury here so badly. All right, so I'm playing Mountain Go, right? Yeah. Or the yeah. Arena. Or the Arena. Does it matter? Probably doesn't matter, right? I like doesn't... Mountain Go. Yeah. They might respect something. Yeah. This is where we really, really needed a Fury. Terminal Mints can build and play is just gross. Yeah. I think they probably just draw four cards here, but it depends what's in their hand. Okay. Just make it, make it huge. Yeah, fair. Could draw another blast here, would be really good. Mm -hmm. So I think what we need to do is play Tomb Painter and then, like, see what they do. Like, see how they activate the Minskin Boo. Because if they minus it, you can blast the Boo in response. So this happens on the upkeep? How does it work? In the upkeep, they can make a new 1-1, one, one, which they won't do because they have yeah. a 7-7. Seven, seven. So I gave them priority? So you, you go into their main phase and see how they activate Minsk and Boo, I think. Because I think we this is a 7-7 seven, seven with Trample, so we need to kill it anyway. So it's oh, just I like... I didn't realize that. Yep. Yeah. We need to just... They're not going to make a mistake, but we're going to be blasting the, the creature token anyway, so let them do something. Okay. Yeah, well, let's blast it. So, yeah, we just need to draw another blast. Which is not what I expect in this matchup at all, but... Okay, blast, come on. Bombers would be really good here. Oh, let's go, baby! It, right? You could arena an engineer into something with yeah. haste. If you want. Keep Hold on. About all this shit. All right, so we blast definitely. Uh, Force of Vigor on the mind. We'll, we'll uh, I'll do it as upkeep, right? Or does he get a yeah. trigger? You can yeah. untime yeah. the force. Yeah. yeah, you want to do it on this turn. <laughs> this I turn? guess he can't really target. He, he could have Force of Vigor, Cal. I think you lean on Saga personally, but I'm, you can always run blast the force. Like I don't know. Cal, you want me to blast? You want me to blast this turn on my turn? Yeah, because in the upkeep they get a they get a trigger. Right, right. So, so we're gonna start, do it. So, start hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just thinking about like. Do we care that they have a one one? Kind I know of. what I want to do. I'm listening to what you guys want to do. I'm I saying we're playing of. around Force of Vigor now, right? I don't play Saga yet because I wait to see what he has. So I'm gonna blast. Either I make the decision to blast now. And say that he doesn't have force of vigor, or I give him a one-one token, which is nothing to us, and then do it in his upkeep. Yeah, do you play Saga then? I think I play Saga here. Yeah, Saga and upkeep blast. Yeah. Okay, I'm down because for that. If he responds by force of vigoring us there, it puts yeah, him yeah, to, puts him to two cards, and I, I blast the Minskin blue in response. Yeah, I like it. Or no, what else you think? 
No, no, no. I like this. That's why it's just like take some time to think. Because I was just thinking if there's like a way we can malfunction to change the targets or whatever. But no, play play the saga. It was also like, do we want we could have gone like mountain play engineer off the tomb and mountain. Oh, but I think good. yeah, but I think because we have the arena for like next turn, give it haste. We're actually kind of setting up for a combo next turn anyway. So I like going play saga, upkeep blast. I like it. Because we are threatening to combo next turn. I'll, I'll attack it, so. No, don't attack, because they're going to get 1-1 one, one with haste. Yeah. So upkeep, I'll let have the trigger. Yeah. So. You said now, I'd, I'd get, guess the one. I'll just blast it now in response yeah. to this. It makes no difference. Cool. Wow, apparently Blasts are the best card in the Red Green Initiative matchup. They are. I mean, it's, it's definitely a strategy, in my opinion. Yeah. It's got five cards now. I feel like my painters just never live. Such a stupid fucking card. This is like the stupidest card. But he only has a 2-2 two -two now. This is this is the time. This was the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. We... Uh... We kill him here, right? Did you sort uh, board in Needle for the Bomba, Bobby? I boarded in Needle, right? Oh, no, we're a manor off. I mean, you just drew the best card you could have possibly drawn in anyway. So. <laughs> it's just from Blast off the Blast. All right, so what are we doing here? Do I play Arena? Are you doing this silly stuff still? Or how are we doing we're, this? We're a manor I off. I think you just Mountain Engineer, Blast the Bomba. You have the combo next turn. Yeah. yeah. Make, him, make him have it. You already wasted the Simeon Guide on the Bomba. Uh, so I'm just blasting here. I'm just, just blasting. Yeah, here. I would also leave matter. up the, the, whatever the, that stupid spell in your hand is called. Will I make a creature token here, you think? No. Nah. Huh? No, no, no. You have three lives. Yeah, you need yeah, it for I the can. grindstone. So I just tap here. Mm -hmm. I still think he has fucking. Um... If he has endurance, you can untimely it to himself. Pre lit. Just go uh, to his. Do I play engineer here and then upkeep upkeep hit him? I'm still playing around force of vigor. I would just. You can um. Because you want engineer. you want you want the untimely to redirect an endurance trigger to you. If they have it. Okay, so I don't play anything here, correct? Yeah. Okay. And then just upkeep it. <laughs> like, they don't have Force of Vigor because they didn't. Oh, well, the because I'm fucking half retarded sometimes. All right. <laughs> Grind them, tap tomb here. Yeah. Nice. Look at this grindstone go. Oh, does he have something in his graveyard? He does. He's a guy's blessing. That's so sad. Boo. That's so sad. Oh, Robbie. It's sad. I don't even find it like good. I just find it sad. <laughs> I didn't think of that at all. Well, you got two turns to get your lantern. So mm -hmm. I, I think I boarded it out, didn't I? No. Oh, did we? No, I don't think I did, actually. I told you yesterday you never boarded it. I know you did tell me. You're right, Adam. So <laughs> I took out the Soul Guide Lantern. Do we yeah, have the Ghost Vacuum? Yeah, we do have a Ghost Vacuum here. All right, it should be the other way around, but that's cool. We got you're this. Right, you're right, Adam. <laughs> What's one life Wild. between friends? All right. Um, do I haste anything out here? Does it matter? Can I get an engineer? Can I? I'm at one, so I can't really, right? No. So I'll play it. I'll just make tokens here. Do I not attack? What if he has a bomba? I just lose, right? So I just don't attack here, right? No, don't attack. Because then you can make a token and double block. Yeah. I didn't even look at his deck because it's like just so, dis got so disgusted. Yeah. Is there no argument to run out the fable right now, just for value? 
There is. I think I prefer to just leave up the malfunction yeah, just in too. case they have something. Like up crazy play here. I, I think guess, yeah, either way, you could double Plus block you the bomb, though. You could hit the chrome mox on the stack if he goes to cast the chrome mox for color. That's true. Yeah, it, like I think that. casting the fable is like kind of close to playing the malfunction. Keep uh, close to close to making a construct, but it's not bad. Agreed. Huh? You can. Uh, you could have. It's okay. Which which mode is it? Is it artifact or? I mean, you could. Grindstone, if you wanted. I could make a kill a uh, token here. No, you can't. You're a man of the Alright, so let this happen. This card is so good. <laughs> yeah, just make a construct and then, like, you can. Yeah. Because next time we can haste the engineer yeah, yeah, yeah. to bring back the painter, right? And get salt and get the vacuum. And then we need to do it again the next turn. Or maybe we should attack with constructs. Yeah, I'm going to attack on all constructs, I think. I'll leave up Malfunction where I can. Yeah. What a great game. <laughs> there are two cards with a force of vigor. All right, so I'm taking myself yeah, I'll... off of... Huh? Yeah, I'll just make a construct. Get Ghost Vacuum and... Oh, do we... What else can we get? Needle. No, I already went to my needle. Or did I? Did I not bring a needle? I'm bad. Um, I'll get the ghost vacuum. It might be useful. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. And for this. Yep. Do I attack? I think I do, right? Yeah. Can't I need that. to have like bomber and soul land. I think we're winning with these constructs, so. Yeah. Like I just hope it have a bomber now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> what a silly game. I hate when they board in like graveyard hate like that. It's just so <clears throat> I don't know. It's a weird feeling, right? Just a weird feeling. I feel like I just never cut Lantern ever just for that yeah. what if. You're right. You're not wrong. Mm -hmm. And I should never have. And I, it's and it's the thing I'm always like in like oh the random progenitus or shit like yeah, that. You're absolutely <laughs> right. You're absolutely right. Even with D and T, everything. I just I forgot well, they were doing that now. For what it's worth, yeah. it doesn't stop progenitus. Just well, I guess they all right. That's a bad example, but I, I know cool, you mean you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, also, it's just, I like needle. I like needle for the planeswalkers and Bombo in this matchup. I don't know if you brought it in or not. Yeah, I should have brought it. I didn't bring that in, and I didn't bring in Soul Guy Lantern, so definitely do that. That's right. We it's almost got that untimely, guys. though. We almost. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was timely, I guess. It was too was timely. Never a spot. <laughs> oh, God. It is an awkward card, isn't it? It is weird. I have to give Hearse a try. I have, that's, that's like the one card I have yet to, yeah. Hearse is so good. It's been... Over the last, like, whatever, year of blue-black being good, it's been so impressive. Because it just gets right. so many things. Like, even if it's the control decks, snags Uros and shit. And then it becomes, like, a 10-10, and you just threaten to attack with a 10-10. Are you off the uh, Blessings right now? Yeah, because you really want it to go with the Magus's, right? And I've, and I've kind of realized that Blood Moon is so much better than Magus against Eldrazi. Yeah, it's oh, interesting. I'm, uh, take care. See oh, yes. you Ciao. Peace. Right, I'll cool. start with I'll start with the uh, slow guy lantern, Cal. Yep, I like it. So we lost the two artifact decks today. That's too bad. Yeah, I mean, I think the matchup is terrible. It's terrible, and we, we almost no got very lucky. Teams. Yeah, but like we didn't do anything else, literally. I think we cast a, a Null Rod and a Fury, like both those games. <laughs> cool. This is nice.
Love to see your swords here. Yeah. Imagine this was an Imperial recruiter. Yeah. Hey, get what? A Magus? <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe. maybe. Like Blood Moon? Oh, this is garbage. <laughs> this deck is really good. So, I'll pitch a painter. Yeah, and... I'll pitch a painter. And the city, I think. Those are good. Okay. Yeah. I might, I might be dead next time, but we'll see. I well, we've got this. We, we, we uh, you have Soul Guide. Oh. They can't really combo. I would I would maybe not even play the arena. Like yeah. So they so they, well hold on. So they might not have they might have a swords. If we yeah. play the painter off the tomb, the spirit guide might get them if they go to swords in response. I gotta start with Grindstone first. I'm oh, pretty sure they can win through sorry, they can win through the lantern. They uh I think they run to ferry, right? So they just bounce I have the to ferry. You do, you do. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm going to start with Grindstone first, see what he does. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I thought the um, the Grindstone was in play. I'm losing it. Yeah, you know. Uh... <laughs> I'd play the Arena first, because that'll be like, oh, OK, so they can't combo this turn. Yeah. You know, I shouldn't have played let's... the Arena first. I should have played Painter first. No, 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 no. Oh. Playing arena first was good because there's a small chance they have like force and swords in hand. And if they have both, if we if we don't play the arena first, we could have a soul land and then just like go and combo them. Yeah. But by playing the arena first, we're hiding the simian spirit guide in our hand. So they're like, okay, I can let it resolve because I can just swords it because they're down three mana. So I like right. playing the arena first. I'll just name if I name white here, he's more apt to fucking hit me. I gotta name blue because I have to act like I have a fucking pyroblast, otherwise I won't yeah, sure. like that. All right. Come on, end of turn, sorts it. End of turn, sorts it. Or fetch, fetch, fetch. I wait, right? I wait. Yeah, yeah, I wait. I wait, yep. Because next turn you can haste, engineer, and threaten like two painters. Yeah, I think we're in a pretty nice spot here. Did you already eat dinner, Cal? Sorry? Did you already eat dinner? Uh, no, actually. It's supper, Robert. That. Oh, is it supper <laughs> over there? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's supper. Thank you. <laughs> but I had a late lunch, so I'm not hungry. Did you have? Did you crack a beer yet, bro? Oh, go for it. Go for it. Nice. I have. Yeah. Oh hell yeah! Let's go. I've got a beer. Here we go. What kind? It's a ginger beer. Nice. Cool crabbies. Brewed in Scotland. Beautiful. Um, all right. Nice. So, what do you like? So Alex? some, so some of these lists, not all of them. Like obviously not this one, but some of them have memories journey over dread return, even. So obviously that one there. I like blood moons and magus and blasts. Needle. Yep. And do I want untimely here? I nah. Think so. I know it kills kind of weak, I hate like in this matchup. Yeah. Um, fairy is good here. I, I don't think it is. If you bring in fairy, you can bring in like two. But fairy just loses to the Nadu plan, and I think they cut cephalids a lot of the time against painter. Like we have so many blasts, and they kind of expect fairy. I actually don't really like fury that much either. This build, yeah, yeah, I like it against could like trim, trim a bobble on the draw too. Could do, yeah. Well, I have two more cards to bring in here, so we have well, two graveyard hates. I guess they could win through it because bobble stops dread return, but again, they could just bounce it mm -hmm. while they're already going off. But it's pretty mana intensive, like to play to fairy and draw it and stuff. So we have two I cards. Think bobble and fairy are doing very much the same thing, like. My experience is they cut the cephalids and just play this fair Nadu thing, so I don't bring in the fairies. But 
this is a weird thing where like it's a guessing game, so I'm less inclined to bring two fairies in, especially if we're up a game. Um, yeah, I bring the yeah. What else do you cool. see you like in the sideboard, Cal? Not much. I mean, I could keep the engineer, but mm. no, I like this. It might be better than a fable and mirror breaker, but I'll see. I like three fables. I think this this matchup turns kind of grindy, and I do like trimming a fable or two when bringing in like multiple blood moons just to keep the curve, like That's that. Great. Yeah, for what it's worth, I generally don't bring in Magus or Blood Moon against the the non breakfast versions, but the mana in the Cephalo breakfast versions is a lot worse. I think welders are also just pretty weak in this matchup, like. Yeah. There's no high impact artifacts to get, and like, yeah, cool. I can I like. pitch it. I'm not gonna play well there here, right? Yeah, no, I like it. I think planned. Uh, you just hold up bla blast, right? Brainstorm yeah. or ponder. Yeah, yeah. I want to. Yeah, pitch the well. I actually want to pitch well there at some point here, but yeah, no, I like this. And then my next, I mean, next next turn I can play well there, leave a blast, but then I play in the days. But I think the first couple of turns are like literally control. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is like not this, this game is very anecdotal, but I think it's like the reason people are cutting well there or just trying without it is because one with baubles, there's more things we want to play on turn one, and you actually want to play bauble before well turn one, just because that's how the game goes. Two is this worth a shot here. I don't think I would. I mean, I, I want to use it to like get this blood moon through. Yeah. No, no, no. I wouldn't counter. It. I wouldn't counter it. <laughs> what I'm looking at is like going turn two mountain, turn three blood moon with blast up okay. for their force. Is what I'm thinking. But um, back to it is like we're also just playing like blasts are the best they've been since Espresso Federation. So we're playing seven or eight blasts. So you want to be leaving up blasts the first bunch of turns, or you'll be playing bubbles. So like there's just it's not that weld is bad, it's just hard to like find slots to play it. All right. So yeah, so I like oh, just we'll going draw love here. it. Mountain go. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, just make them think you're gonna play something. I gotta do something, <laughs> Cal. I hate doing that shit, but <laughs> the Duke, the Duke. I mean, I did fucking give away. I had a blast last turn, so I gotta make him think I'm doing something, right? <laughs> They're That's just like this, this, this light walker guy. What the fuck is he doing? I know it's crazy. All right, let me thank you. Should I bolt them and stuff? Just say hi. <laughs> I was about to make the same joke. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'm going to play a moon here. Now, what, what's the worst that could happen here? There's a few things that could happen here. For sure. Hydroblast into combo us with days. Or Beseju. Beseju's fine. We oh, get another mountain. Sure. Cool. That's fine. Oh, okay. Very weird to you know I have blast, like it's so clear as day. Um <laughs> cool. He can still cast the cephalodia, correct? And win. Yeah, yeah. And he can daze me too, right? Yeah. So this is the type of problems you run into. This is why I said before I cast that, I think of everything. I just don't think I feel like they just side side out the cephalids. No, I'd leave that. I'm gonna bolt this thing now. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll do my main phase. Yeah, I agree. I'm gonna play it real safe, right? That's the way, mm -hmm. to, that's the way I like to tend to play. Our hand is great, our position is great, the blood moon is great. Just yeah, I like playing patiently as well. Like we take two damage here, whatever. Three, sorry. Yeah. Land is a great draw here. And you know what else mm -hmm. I don't do lately is um That's a great draw. Is not board out sagas and shit, so yeah, I wouldn't put out sagas like. Um, I'll just leave up bolt blast here, Cal. Or I would. Yeah, I'll leave up bolt blast. I could play Cause... welder here. Welder just doesn't do anything. Yeah, I want to. I want to like leave up bolt blast just because they could have a second mountain or a lotus pedal. Or oh, they can't lotus pedal, but like a second island and. Sure. Okay. <laughs> 
now now you can bolt the construct. I was just thinking if they had like a second blue source out of somewhere and then they have hydroblast or something. Yeah, force the willow, dude. All right, I'm sorry. All right, cool. Not bad. Yeah, well, the the losses were like. I don't think we play them any differently either. They would, that matchup is horrible. Yeah, it's both um, artifact decks here, so mm -hmm. not bad. Take your time. Not a bad so list. New cards did nothing. Did nothing. Yeah, <laughs> a couple times we could have used this, but yeah, Untimely's okay. Did you see that other card I suggested that we could skim the top two, the top three of the library? Then, uh... oh, the D and D card. <laughs> Is that what it is? I mean, it's bad, but it's kind of interesting. So you hit one of their what? bombers and play it? Yeah, you could hit like a Brainstorm or like... What was that card? Dire Fleet Daredevil was pretty good for a while. But uh, yeah, that was the one that like took a spell right. out of their graveyard. Yeah. But, but I don't know. This, like, this list is kind of close-ish to what I think I like as a, a non-ring Bombardier, whatever version. It's like, I like... Three Bauble and Two Fury. I have I have really liked having Two Furies main. Yeah, I think the Chainsaw is just fine, but not great. So probably better as a third bolt. But yeah, I would I would change that. And then I don't know. I feel like a third welder makes sense, but I don't know if it does. No, it totally does in my eyes. Yeah, I just think um, I, you miss you like Fury now, huh? I mean, a lot of people are saying Bolt's bad. I just think this. Bolt picks off the mirror cards. Yeah, um, Bolt's great. So many creatures he just takes care of. I mean, I'm not really using it as, using it as a finisher, but just enough to clean up shit. You know? Yeah. No. No. I'm totally agreement about Bolt. I would. The only reason, like I said, to trim one here is just to try Chainsaw, which is yeah. like very similar. Yeah. So I wouldn't play Chainsaw really. I think it's pretty bad, but it's fun I, would, to try. I would cut Ghost Vacuum personally. I really like Ghost Vacuum. Yeah, I've yet to try it. I just. Uh, I think in Painter, the way I run it is just more like you're going to need graveyard for strict graveyard hate. Like, you know, this is a cute card, but I just think that you're looking to sweep a yard with like Emrakul or like just a ETB but, is great. So I would. I just I think, know. I don't know the current meta, but three main deck graveyard hate pieces seem excessive. No, it's it, it does. It's high. Okay. I would probably cut the hearse from this personally. Yeah. I do really, really like hearse though. It's a phenomenal card. It's a great but card. I think the vacuum is better, just just because it's cheaper. I think the six mana thing can come up. I've only played it like a challenge in one league, but I don't. Know. I think we should try it out. Yeah, I guess like, it's nice. It's not you could do your graveyard and opponent's graveyard, so you could get back a painter in theory if you needed. Yeah, it. exactly. Well, like, like if you go into the late game, you can get a fury. I play against DNT where I got solitude and like some other creatures off it and stuff. And then, yeah, as you said, you get more goblins and whatever. Like, it's it's graveyard hate, but it's also not graveyard hate. It it just like as these long these grindy games go on against the fair decks, it just becomes this huge ticking time bomb that's right. gonna like that's, have a that's, high impact on the game. That's definitely the upside. Huge upside mm -hmm. with that. Huge upside. Yeah, yeah. But it, it is also graveyard hate. Like against the entomb decks, it's gonna hit the thing they target with reanimate and stuff. So. I don't know. I think the card is worth playing as a one of, and probably Valid. over the hearse. Yeah, but as I keep saying, hearse has been phenomenal to just be a like a soloing card. It it eats the graveyards. It keeps DRC small. It eats Mutt Tide, but I haven't seen DRC in Mutt Tide in ages, really. So if like Delver is the top deck, uh, hearse is phen phenomenal. But I think Ghost Vacuum is probably better against like the current meta game. Is my feeling. Yeah, it's cheaper too. It comes out earlier. Yeah, plays get off saga. Days. Get off saga. Yeah. So with this, I'll be testing uh, formal wear this week when it hits MTGO. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I need to get. Some oh, I want to try that in uh, Palmer. Yeah, it's. I think you do play it within like a very mid rangey Light Walker style <laughs> with bombardiers, <laughs> right? <laughs> I yeah. one. To be honest, I think yeah, formal work could just be like a Boros aggro stompy thing. A lot with of like, like that card. Mm -hmm. 
It's really strong. Boros, I liked um, Savine's Reclamation. I thought that card was gas if you're splashing a plateau. That's a fun card, especially with like LED. Yeah. You can do some cool stuff. Yeah. I played a shitload of that card when Breach was legal. Breach was a fucking crazy deck. And like you would, you would intuition for Reclamation, um, the Breach and whatever, and the Brain Freeze. And that's just the combo. Yeah. That deck was nuts. I played that in paper for a while. Oh, yeah. When it first I won came a. Out, yeah. With Grinding think, Station. Uh, grinding Station. Remember that card in that deck too? That that was the first version with like Lightning yeah. Shooter as well. And then. I, pl I play CDH, so I see that shit all the fucking. <laughs> yeah, fair. Fortunately. That was. Well, I play, I play Breach and Vintage now. It's like the only deck I like to play, really. But nice. I don't know. I won a showcase challenge with Breach as well. I hadn't played the deck before. And in the morning, I messaged a friend saying, can you send me a list? And then we met in the final. That was fun. Nice. nice. Anyway, so yeah, with this, I would look to like, yeah, probably add the third welder back for the hearse, I think. Does that sound good? Yeah, I don't like Chainsaw. Oh, yeah, then Chainsaw becomes a bolt. Chainsaw becomes a bolt, Hearst becomes a welder. I think this card, I mean, don't get me wrong, these cards are cool. They they make it in painter. I mean, of course. Uh, yeah. I'm just talking personally. You guys no, no, no. cut and dry. The cut the chainsaw, dry. again, I just like to just mess around with it. I think it's a cool card as well. It's, a cool it's, card. Just, it's got rev counters. Yeah, it is so, sweet. Callum, have you cut welder in some number yourself? Not really. I just haven't played enough recently to... are, are you still on Defiler then by extension? No. There's still just too too many random mates and like Yeah, yeah. that's fair. I do I always love cut the it. as much as the next person. Most broken card I ever made. <laughs> but no, I also just found like uh, it just it hasn't come up in enough games. Even when the like welders lived. At the beginning I would like I'd play an engineer thinking, oh shit, I need to get to file here, and then I'd actually realize I've cut it, but I don't know. It hasn't felt as missed as I thought. Oh, so. you're off great furnaces, though, right? I guess that. Yeah, that that helps your argument too. Yeah, kind of. I never found that having artifacts in play is a problem, especially with bubbles. Though there's always like something hanging around. But yeah. I don't know. This this main deck is very close to I think what I like is from. I just haven't experimented with the ring or bombers again or anything like that. So I'm not saying it's like the best version, but it's what. I found best, like for me, with this, I've just cut the hearse for a welder and the chainsaw for a bolt. And then the arenas probably, and the furnace for three more mountains is pretty much what I like, I think. Yeah, that's what I've been on. I just, you like Fury, huh? Right now, I just think the card is, maybe it's good, but I'm just. No. I think it's, uh, it's kind of extra. Like, if you yeah. say the bolt is bad, how can you say Fury is good, right? I'm not saying bolt is bad. I think I'm, I'm saying, saying bolt is you... amazing. People, yeah, yeah. Some people are just saying that, but okay, fine. I I don't run them in the main right now, just because of like, if you're leaning on Bobble, which you usually are more often than not. Mm -hmm. oh, he says he sacks them, gets them, gets them out of there. That was my thinking for it, but I don't know. I I just found like a lot of time, a lot of games, as we did before Bobble, like you just hard cast Furies a lot, or you can sacrifice the Bobble. It is a is it as a number, and it has come up, and yet. In, I played yeah, the challenge on Sunday, like, and I played Fury into my own bubble twice. So you, <laughs> you need to get used to it. <laughs> yeah, because to me, it's that argument like doesn't kill Frog usually. I guess it forces yeah. the issue. Like it could become a him to Torok, but like I don't know. You're two for twoing, so is it worth it? I, I agree, but at the same time, there's eight blocks. No, it's a good finisher. Five. Yeah, you could e you could yeah. cast it easy. I hear you. Like yeah. it doesn't kill Frog, but. The cards that Fury are going to be aren't going to kill a frog either. Like we've already got the eight blasts in the deck. It's it's not there to kill a frog, and sometimes it does. Sometimes you make them discard four cards, then blast it, like or three cards, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I just got my eighth red blast finally, so nice. I'm gonna try that this week. I love when red blast is good because it means paint is good. Like, was it like a year ago, half a year and a half ago, like? We were on four blasts, sometimes none. It's just like uh, everything sucks. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I think paint how good painter is in the metagame is like almost always directly correlated to how good blast is in the format. So like when expressive iteration was really good, paint was pretty good. And then we went through like a 
what was the best deck? There was a phase where like blasts were pretty bad. Oh, initiative. initiative. Yeah, initiative. That was it. That's when Bolt was good and blasts were pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the that was the Fury days. And now, yeah, blasts are here. But I need to stop like trying to work out what to play at Eternal Weekend. You playing Eternal Weekend, Robert? I'm not sure yet. Where are you, where are you gonna play? Coming this way? In no, in Prague. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I've yet. got like a, made up my mind. I've got like a crazy December. My band is playing in Germany one weekend. Then it's a tunnel weekend, so I'm gonna be in Prague for a week, and then we're playing in Spain the week after. So oh, sick. jet setting around. Yeah. But that's awesome. That is awesome. Should, should be cool. And then it's like come home for three days, then have to go and see family for Christmas and shit. Nice but, dude. But Prague is like right in the middle, so it's going to be absolutely exhausted and be like, oh shit, yeah. I can't do anything. <laughs> Are you going to play a painter variant, you think? Yeah. Yeah. I, it's like 99% sure that I'll play painter. Yeah. I don't, even when I bring like another deck, I never, like the night before, I'm just like, nah. Play painter. And as I said, like, I don't have rings, so I'll never, I'll never talk bad about something I haven't played properly, but I don't have rings and I don't want to buy them because it's a lot. So. What do they go for a card nowadays? They're like, like eighty in paper, yeah. and 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 dollars. I think it's like eighty. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, I I think they were more. Um, the cheapest ones are eighty. The regular ones are like one twenty. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Because in Europe, they're very expensive as well. Uh, in the summer, I was in Spain for a tournament, and they were like a hundred euros. You see, that's Ooh, wild ring. Because I would also want to. I mean, I could probably borrow some, but then. All right, they're like they start at sixty five euros, which is. I mean, hindsight twenty twenty. I wish I had known because they were selling the bun the fifty dollar bundles. Yeah, oh, they're so like crazy. they start at seventy dollars here, which is not the worst, not the best. I don't know. I I don't. Seems... I don't know. I don't get the discussion over like how well there's like you know, I just don't know if people are playing the card correctly, and it's just the easy way out, in my opinion. I mean, the one ring is a good card. Don't get me wrong, but I, don't know. I just feel like you take so much life off Soul Lands alone. You take that out, but then you can't break parity because you don't have welders. That just doesn't track to me. Mm. I, I would I think. I think my issue with welders is that it's so hard to evaluate. Right, like it can be such a huge player in a game, or it can be inconsequential. Mm. And I think looking at your opening hand and seeing a welder. You like it's kind of an unknown quantity versus like looking at a, a one ring or something like that. You know you're gonna get your protection. You know you're gonna draw three cards. Yeah, that's fair. And I mean, yeah, my kind of like it's not an issue, but it is like what we said before in the game was like our turn one, two, and three is a very heavily playing control against a lot of the format right now. It's playing blasts on a frog around days. It's getting a vexing bubble down turn one. It's we have so many other turn one plays or like bolting and stuff that before like welder was the main turn one play, but now it just doesn't feel like it is. And a welder on turn three comes down, the opponent's set up, they know the matchup, they've got the removal already. I just find the way the deck plays currently doesn't play into welder's strengths. So the way the deck um, plays currently? What do you mean? With yeah. what? What deck? Like the way painter plays currently doesn't play into welder's strengths. Like, what? Well, first of all, we want to play. We want to play bubble over well the yeah. turn one in the blind. Yeah, it's we want to be like blasting frogs or leaving up blasts against combo decks, especially playing yeah. around days the first couple of turns. We want, there's lots of things to bolt against, like DNT, Eldrazi, Moonstumpy, blah blah. And yeah, like the first few turns, we're so often having to do other things than to, to get a welder down. Against the blue decks, they're cantripping, they know the matchup, they know it's painted, they know they need to get removal, so they kill the welder if they need to and stuff. Yeah. I just I've just found it very hard. Like the last game was a very good example where we had the welder. It wasn't going to do anything. We were like, okay, we can pitch to Fable. We don't want to play it because we're playing around days. We want to keep up the blasts and the bolts. The deck is very good right now at playing this slower, reactive, controlling mid-range game where we don't want to be playing the welder. So I don't know. Especially when Blast is good means we're a much more reactive reactive deck than usual. So we want don't want to be like aggressively dragon engineering all the time. Like we want to be leaving up the blast, get the value out of it. So we are a slower, more reactive deck right now. And that's a good place to be, I think. It just again 
that's what I mean by doesn't play into well the strengths. If we are in a format where like there's not much removal, or lots of combo, then well there's a lot better because we go to one welder, turn to engineer, find an anti combo piece, yeah. play to the board. But I'm also right now, fine going it doesn't play to the board. with like deploying the welders slowly and kind of use them as like a tool. Like it just depends, I think, on mm -hmm. how you play it, but. Um, well, I agree there, but then you can play two or three copies because you can play the first one and like after a bunch of turns and like you can decide with, you know, what else you draw or the fables discarding and stuff. So that's why I'm into this idea of playing two or three copies at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think, again, that the way the deck plays is because the format's just we're playing very reactively, you know, an opening hand of three welders is pretty bad. It, they just don't really do much. They need they need help, and when they're good, they have a high ceiling. To say your phrase, the only they time are I really, really like welder is versus like a swords deck, and that's the, pro the toughest thing. But mm -hmm. I can pretty much negotiate. I mean, it's just it's been so clutch for me. I mean, it's just such a uh, a clutch kind of thing with the right setup and the right kind of like you know play patterns. You could kill it with it, but mm -hmm. I don't know. What do I know? I just can't see. You know, I. I don't know. I think the one ring is a great card, but we'll see how yeah. long it lasts. We'll see how long it it it, uh, it sticks out there. Um, mm -hmm. So, but yeah, no, I'm I'm advocating for like three welder, three engineer. I think that's a that's nice spot I'm, to be in. That's right. Like it's really. it's still a, a very very important core part of the deck, yeah. but you know we just have so many other things to be doing with our mana in the early game. Yeah, like even even this last league. So we saw how many times well uh, engineer was really awkward and slow and we didn't want it and stuff like that's just the same idea of like you know we, we have so many other things we need to be doing with our mana just stay at parity with the other decks because the other decks are just you know we need to interact with them rather than enact our slightly slower combo generally yeah so sweet well that was a good time very good a little uh couple of hiccups in the beginning but we did pretty well with it well, we need to do this again because now we know how to do it. First of yeah. all, we've worked it out. Hey, Robert, yeah. you know you can use the virtual camera, right, and stream that to Discord. Through what? OBS. So, so yeah, if you hit that star virtual camera button on OBS. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Click that, and then you switch your Discord camera to the OBS virtual camera. Oh shit! <laughs> we've been trying to work out this, this out the whole screen. And then we don't have to see the whole OBS interface. Oh, okay. see, oh yeah. This this, I, I messaged I messaged Adam <laughs> earlier because I knew we had the uh, the goods. And he Adam, we, we we set up the ninja thing without you. That was good. It took us like ten minutes, and two old old men just like fumbling around, being no, so you were pretty good. Cal. <laughs> you were pretty good. We got there. All right, sweet. We'll do it again. Um, always a yes. pleasure. Always nice well, to see you, Cal. Nice well, we'll definitely do it again because I just have more time on my hands here. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's do it. We'll really kill it. We'll kill it next time. It was nice meeting you, Callum. And you too, bro. I'm going go to go. Good night, Robert. Yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you. See Wait, you guys. Is, the cat, is the cat nearby? She's in the oh. other room. No, get your cat. We need to say hi to the cat. <laughs> yeah, get her. I got mine right here next to me. He's he's oh, he's so loafing. Oh, I need to get a pet here. Like, I've got this new flat. I'm going to uh, foster a dog, I think. Oh, there oh she shit. Is. Here she come. Oh, my yeah. God. Just a little. I'm jealous. <laughs> I can see her. See her. Oh, oh, my God. God. It's so what little. What a beauty. She's What's a her kitty. name? Godiva. Godiva. Say hi. You all right, sweetie? So sweet. Aww. Say hi. She didn't know Where'd you get her from? from? Um, MSPCA. Near me. Gotcha. Yeah, sweetie. She's a little hellier. She's, like, She's crazy. All yeah, over the place. That, that, that doesn't change. It doesn't. <laughs> we, we, we literally we bought these like spike things to try to like get him to stop jumping, and he just fucking does it anyway yeah. <laughs> through the spikes. Yeah, she's she's awesome. I love her. So, yeah. all right, guys. Nice but, to see you. I'll uh, I'll put this that. up soon, and I'll catch you guys around. Hell yeah, we'll do it again soon. All right, Cal. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. See you. Ciao.